Yeah, raise your arms in victory, because that was a pretty victorious thing you just did. I don't know if he's going to absorb that. I, I wasn't sure about that coming into this. I knew he absorbed the other two. Yeah, he does absorb that. Okay. That's not going to help him any, though. No, he's going to absorb the flare, too. That might actually kill the right one, though. Who knows? No, it didn't. Crap. What if I just kept doing that? Maybe I, I think I got the right one down low enough now that I probably could kill it. But I'm not going to take any chances on that. Ugh. That is so confusing. Thank goodness he hasn't done anything too terrible here. If I wasn't as high a level as I am, this wouldn't be killing him in one round. But this is the best thing I know to do right now, is just have Marl and Luca use their physical attacks, because nothing else will work on it. So, phew, thank god. Now, back to what we were doing here. Uh-oh. We're gonna need to heal, or is she gonna get it? Oh, she got chaosed. Oh man, all three of us got something that time. Oh, and that is a bad combination. Okay, she's awake. Oh, but she's Chaos now, too? She got Sleep and Chaos? Good lord. Oh, I thought I equipped Prison Helms. I don't know what, what... What did I have equipped? I can't even imagine how I beat the first form without those. But okay. <laughs> okay, so he restored the... Defense. Let me get rid of that. Get rid of that stop status. And he just turned it off again. Good. I can't believe I put in the flare command right after he restored the defense. What was I thinking? Okay, are we done yet here? I mean, seriously. Ha ha, he's gone. And there you go. That's it. No problem, really. We'll be seeing that age again, 2300 AD, with the traffic lights destroyed, and ground destroyed, and rubble everywhere. Man, I'm thirsty. My mouth is dry. Let me have some coke here. Jeez, I'm gonna have a seizure looking at that. I never noticed that before. And there you have it. Not much else to say. That strange little screen popped up again there. As if to say, ha ha, you may have beaten me, but you can only do it because you got rid of me. And this would be the alternate ending, which uh, seems to be the same at first, and for the most part it really is. I mean, it's really no different, I mean, it's the same as before, and you can't skip the dialogue here, so it kind of, I don't know how much of this I should really show. Maybe I should just cut up to the part of the ending that does change, because, because it could take a while. Should I do that? Because I don't know, man. I don't want to put up a whole bunch of videos of the same thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no sense in reading the text again. We already did that one time, and one time is too much for some people. So, whatever. Yes, all the people from the other ages have come back to celebrate that we kicked their asses, or we kicked Lavos's ass, whatever. How weird is that to see two kings in the room? Like, dude, which one's the real king? Would the real king please stand up? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cut to the to the uh, midnight fair. Okay, and I believe this is about where the ending changes, because normally Chrono's mom comes up and goes into the warp, and uh, she didn't do that this time. So everything else, for the most part, is the same, though I'm pretty sure. So this is where they ask for the princesses. <coughs> presence, so they can show her the bell, the silver bell, which shines so much more brightly than it seems like it would at night, but, uh -huh. You can do the honors, huh? So she's gonna put it up. That's a little different, yeah, because in the original one, the king put it up and Chrono goes to help her. Yeah, that's nice. Done! Can you see where this is going? Ding dong, the witch is dead. Oh man! Huh? Uh, hey, Grano, help me! Oh, great. You better hurry. Oh. 
Oh, no! Oh, that's better. Wait, no? Jeez, where are they going? How are they ever going to get back down now? And there you go, basically the same credit sequence, except now, instead of the Epoch flying around, it's just... Chrono and Marl with the balloons. And of course, it's slower. Not like you see somebody with balloons flying 100 miles an hour across the sky, no. Or actually, that would be more like 600 miles across the sky. Something. Is it just me, or do those white balloons, like, really clash? Yeah, so I don't know, like, if he's, like, sitting on something? <laughs> okay, whatever. Who's holding the balloons? I hope they're holding on tight, because I tell ya. Some pretty epic shot there, actually. Actually, I, I couldn't decide whether I was going to say some pretty epic shots or a pretty epic shot. I ended up saying some pretty epic shot. That's cool. So this, I always called this the floaty ending, because when this game came out, it was like around the same time as the Foo Fighters album that has a song called Floaty on it. And so I was always listening to the CD while I played the game, or during the same time period as I played the game, so it came to where, like, that song and this ending kind of... Well, man, would the moon actually get bigger if you did that? I don't think so, but, but okay. <laughs> I was actually going to take that song and put it over this ending, but with all the warnings I've been getting lately, I think I'm just going to pass on that and... Maybe if I can find a video of it online somewhere, I can just link to it or something. Because that's a good song, but, but I can't be putting it in this video. It's just, I gotta quit doing that. That's a great shot. The clouds, they look so very realistic. Ooh, I think it's a scaled down version of the original sprite there, because was they're facing the same direction. I don't know, I'm not thinking about what I'm saying right now. It's almost like, oh, we're watching another ending. <laughs> That's lovely. And then it pretty much goes on the same from here. As far as I know, there's no other changes from here on out, so... Do I show you the rest of this, or not? Because, uh... <laughs> I honestly can't really think of anything to say here. Um, normally, I have no problem thinking of stuff to say. Well, there's the planet, so we're pretty much done anyway. Um, I'm trying to think of what other... Like, what ending I should do next. I guess eventually I have to do the World Refuse to Change ending, because that is one of them. And it's the one where if you die at Lavos, it pretty much goes on and has an ending for that, too, so... But I don't want to die, you know? It's like... <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Maybe I should, like, pick... Like, like, let you guys pick the party that goes in to die to show you that ending. Wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> I wonder who people would pick. They'd probably pick Frog, and Marl, and... Uh, somebody else, I don't know. Robo or somebody. <laughs> anyway... Well, so now that that's done, I guess, uh... Wow, I'm, I'm still kind of debating over... Okay, so I know I said I was gonna, like, go back to Mega Man 8 when I was done with this LP, and that is still the plan. It is. I've only run into one slight snag, and that is that I don't actually have the Mega Man Anniversary Collection like I thought I did. I have the X Collection, but I don't have the original. I don't know what I did with it. So I'm going to keep looking around the house, because it might be around here somewhere just hiding. I'm not sure. But but if, it, if push comes to shove, I'll just go rent the thing and play it that way if that's what i got to do. But I will do that LP after this is over, so you'll see that eventually. Yeah, so I guess that's all for this particular ending, the floaty ending of Chrono Trigger. So next time I'll have to show you another one. Oh, there are so many left to go. But we will get them all, and that'll be it. So see you next time.